Yo, welcome back to J Reacts. Hey man, we're trying to get to 1K ASAP. So if you boy out, man, like, subscribe, comment, share. You have to make sure, man, you have to, you have to hit that like button though, man, because it helps the YouTube algorithm. So whenever you hit that like button, YouTube like hits like it gets a little signal and it just you know shares your video a little more. So um I would appreciate that. Anyway, man, today we got one of my favorite artists. I haven't reacted to him yet, man, but I like the way that I, li I like his music, man, because it's like, um, it's deep, it's spiritual, man, it's like he's, I feel like he's kind of like me, you know what I'm saying, like he just likes to help people, man, and wants people to do better, and um, wants them to reach their whole potential, you know what I'm saying, and that's why I, I like J. Cole, um, and today, man, we got Middle Child, so let's get it. You good, too, man? I didn't even know I had subtitles. Niggas been counting me up, I'm counting my bullets, I'm loading my clips, I'm writing down names, I'm making a list. Man, he, he like okay, so he's so he's so dope with his flow, man. I, even if I even read this, man, I still can't catch everything because he's just lyrically he's he's lyrically gifted, gifted, a lyrically gifted artist that everything he puts he puts it precise and it's meant to mean something. You know what I mean? And um, if I don't catch everything, man, yeah, just do like me, bro, and just read the subtitles, bro, because that's the best I can do too. Niggas been counting me up, I'm counting my bullets, I'm loading my clips, I'm writing down names, I'm making a list, I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them hit, the ring was the die in the face. Dang, I'm checking it, he's like, I'm writing a list, I'm checking it twice. Damn. Making a list, I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them hit, the ring. <laughs> he's not checking it twice and I'm getting them hit. Damn. I'm checking the list, I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them hit. The real ones been dying, the fake ones is lit. The game is all balanced, I'm back on my shit. The bitly is dirty, my sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it. You all on my dick, oh. I'm all on my back. That's all this. <laughs> Damn, boy, J. Cole's cold, man. Shit. Sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it. You all on my dick, I'm all in my bag. That's all this to get. I do not snow powder, I might take a sip. I might hit the I like that, I like that. He said, I do not snow powder, I do not snort powder, I might take a sip. You know what I'm saying? I like that. That's me, man. Like, I don't do no kind of drugs, nothing. I didn't even smoke weed growing up as a kid, bro. And I, and I was all around it. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in a tough neighborhood. But I, that, that was, my mom smoked, but that's never nothing that... Now, she didn't smoke weed. At least not that I know of. I don't know. But I've never did any kind of drugs, bro. And I'm, I kind of I kind of pat myself on the back for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one of the hardest habits to stop doing, man. You know? And... um. I do take a sip once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Not, not a hardcore, but you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong to do it at, at your own personal house, you know what I'm saying? I do not smoke powder, I might take a sip, I might hit the bluff, but I'm liable to trip. I ain't coming <laughs> no pill, but you do as you wish. I roll with some I like things, that. I love them to death. I got a few mil, but not all of them rich. What good is the bread if my niggas is dope? What good is first class if my niggas can't sit? That's my nigga. Ooh, that's what I like. You see what I like about him? He's like, what, you know, what's the point of me riding first class if my homeboys can't do it either? You know what I'm saying? Like, he just wants to see everybody do good, bro. Everybody come up. My niggas is dope. Well, get us first class and my niggas can't sit. That's my next mission. That's why I can't quit. Just like LeBron and my niggas more chips. Just for the rolly right there. I like that. I just got that. I listened to the song so many times and I never understood that that bar until now. He's like, I'm, I want to be like LeBron and give my, my people some chips. Basically, some championships. You know what I'm saying? Like he brought one to Miami. He brought one to hometown Cleveland. They got one in LA. Like LeBron, every time, every time LeBron goes somewhere, he brings a chip. Hey, that shit was dope, bro. I just got that after how many? After I don't know how many hundreds and thousands of times listening to this song. <laughs> ah, I like that. He said Drizzy gave him that that watch, which is you know Drake, and they're like, it feels like two legends can't co can't co exist, you know. And everybody like doesn't always have to hate on everybody, bro, on each other for y'all both to come up and become legends. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason to hate like that, you know. And that's why I like it. That's why I like J. Cole, bro. Oh. I don't know, I don't know. I don't, okay, I'm not trying to overthink it. But was that kind of like a shot at Kanye talking about, you know, not to sell my sneaker? You know how Kanye has, has shoes? 
I don't know, man. If y'all listen to this song and y'all into Jay Cohen, y'all know what he means or whatever. Y'all let me know. Was that a shot at Kanye? I don't know. Might not. Ooh, that's true, man. He's like, I hope you can scrape all the pennies that you can, and that the money's not gonna erase the pain that you have. So basically, a lot of rappers come in the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? And some people make it. You know, some make it and make a lot of money and, you you know, can afford to live a great lifestyle and have other Rolexes and the chains and the cars. And some just do it for show, bro, just to kind of try to keep up. And at the end of the day, man, they're definitely broke. And then they go back to where they came from. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they don't manage money well. And that's another good point, man. I, I've seen articles and pictures of J. Cole. I don't know what city he was in, but riding a bike, normal you know dress not dressed up just some basketball shorts and a t-shirt bro riding a bike and that's the beauty about j cole bro is that he can be anywhere because he don't beef for nobody like that he could be anywhere still make dope ass music that sells millions of records and still walk around like like a modest person and nobody's gonna bother him you know what i mean um that's another thing but that's another reason why i like adam sandler bro adam sandler is a multimillionaire, makes decent movies i like all his movies because i like that i like that kind of comedy but this dude be dressing crazy, bro. Like some long ass basketball shorts, a t shirt, and he has $380 million in the bank. You don't have to be flashy, you know what I'm saying? So, I like that. Kudos. Watching you when you was paving the ground. I copied your cadence, I mirrored your style. I studied the grace, I'm the greatest right now. Oh, fuck if you feel me, you ain't got a choice. I ain't do no promo, still made all that noise. This shit will be different. I said, He said, ah, fuck if you feel me, you don't have a choice. I made all that noise with no promos, you know what I'm saying? Like no promotional, he just did it on his own because of his name. Who is it? I don't know what this means. Y'all gotta let me know. I don't know who that is, man. I don't want to throw names out there because I really don't know. Yeah, let me know what all this means right here. I don't know if that's basically saying that he he bodied them and he kind of made... I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't want to throw names out there, bro. I'm just trying to say that this one... Nah, he wouldn't do that. I ain't going to say no names, man, because I don't know. Yeah, let me know, man, who, what and who this represents. I have no idea. I got my shit, the belly is dirty, my sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it, you all in my dick. I just poured something in my cup. I've been wanting something I can feel. Promise I am never letting go. Money is bird. Uh, okay, so I don't know if he's throwing shots at these people. I don't even know who they are. Hold up. I've been wanting something I can feel says this is your favorite rapper and who is that who is that I don't know like I'm not I'm not too I'm not too sure of the like who the new generation rappers are so I don't even know who this dude is I don't know who that I, I feel bad saying the name bro because I don't know who this is kind of have a hunch but I don't know Okay, it's another dude right here. This could be you. It's another one. Ask for a feature. I don't know what that means, man. Like, this is... Like, I listened to this song plenty of times, right? But I've never really honestly seen the video. So, this right here, I don't know what this, what this represents. Or is he, like, taking shots at them? Is that... I Like I said, I don't even want to say names, bro, because I feel bad. Y'all let me know. <laughs> he said, I'm in the middle of two generations. I'm little bro and big bro all at once. Like he's in the middle. You know what I'm saying? He gives advice. He takes advice. And he's just kind of like stuck in the middle, like he don't, you know. 
Generations, I'm little bro and big bro all at once. Just at the lap with them 21 Savage. I'm about to go and meet Jigga for lunch. Had a little talk with a young nigga Kodak. Reminded me of young niggas from Phil. Straight out the project, no faking, just honest. I wish that he had more guidance for real. Jane, that's true too, man. Like, you know, Kodak came out of Florida, you know what I'm saying, where I'm from. And nah, I don't live where he lives, but. You know, he is one of those kids that came up from the hood, bro, came up with the mentality of, you know, just hood mentality, you know what I'm saying? And even to this day, bro, he still can't shake it off, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's who you hang out, who you hang yourself out around with, bro, like, who you chill with, who, you know, you come up, you got money, you keep the same crew, is going to have the same mentality, it's going to put you back in the same place. And he's been in and out of jail a few times, man, and luckily he's out, man. I just don't understand what some people, what some rappers think when they have all this money, bro, and still making... The same dumb mistakes, I guess you can say. You know what I mean? And J. Cole's one of the real ones that wants you to do good. He can give all the advice he can he wants to, bro. But at the end of the day, man, they have to make the choice. You know what I mean? Straight out the project, no faking, just honest. I wish that he had more guidance for real. Too many niggas in cycle of jail. Spending their birthdays inside of a cell. We coming from a long bloodline of trauma. We raised by a Dang, how, that was that was deep, man. He's like, we spend, you know, he comes from a cycle. Not him, but well yeah him they come from a cycle of his homies spending you know birthdays in jail he's like you know they they come from a bloodline of trauma you know getting raised by a single mom you know what i'm saying like and that's 99 percent of 99.99 percent of people that grow up in the hood you know what i mean like and and, it, and it's sad. And some people make it out. Don't get me wrong. Some people, you know, they don't get involved in a bad lifestyle, whatever, and they make it out and they be, you know, they do good for themselves. But a, but a high percentage, man, don't they don't they don't have that mental that mental strength, man, to shake that off and know that that's not a good lifestyle to be in. And um, they get stuck in that same that same what is it that same cycle when they can't break it. You know what I mean? Mama's old, we got a hair, we hurting our sisters, the babies as well. We killing our brothers, they poison the well. Distort the self image, we set up the fair. I'm gonna make sure that the real gon' prevail. Nigga. I just poured something in my cup. I been wanting something I can feel. Promise I am never letting up. Money in your phone will make you real. Put it as on a nick, I got him stuck. I'ma give them something they can feel If it ain't about to swat, don't give a fuck Pistol in your head, don't make you real <laughs> Dang, what does that mean? Like, he's so deep with it, brother. I don't know what this... It's kind of freaky, but at the same time, it's like, what does that mean? Is it like... I don't know. You gotta let me know that, man. Yo, this is dope, man. Like I said, man, I like, I love J. Cole, bro. I think that he has some dope lyrics, though, that is not about, like, your, your other rappers, like, killing and being gangbangers. It's more like, like a motivational rap, you know what I'm saying? But still some hood to it. Um, I think he's dope, man. Anyway, man, as always, to the next one, peace.